watching 18 News at 5. With schools closed around the country, classes have moved online. While traditional subjects are more easily taught, one local school shows us how they use the web to continue to give music lessons. Welcome to Wendy and Jim's Music Minute. Hey, Jim, why are we here in the Camp Bell Savona Elementary School music room? Well, if you notice the shirt I'm wearing, March was music month, and we haven't been in school since the middle of March. How are kids being educated? How are our new musicians? learning how to progress on their instrument because you know when we were a kid third and fourth grade was the first time we got to really get in band and start learning an instrument. Jim, how are kids learning on their instruments now that they're not in school? Well, Wendy, what we're doing here at Camp El Salona Elementary School is doing some very creative ways of meeting the educational needs of our kids even though we can't be in the same room as them. Here we have Jeff Wilmore, our instrumental band teacher at Camp El Savona, talking to us about how he's meeting those needs of his kids. What number did you get to? So what I've been doing is I've been using a, a digital platform um, to where we're both sitting in front of a commu computer, iPad, whatever it may be, and we can literally teleconference them playing an instrument and then me sitting and listening and I can even perform for them. So Maddie, this is a different way of learning. How have you liked learning to play an instrument in your home? It's cool, but it's new. So it's a little harder to hear everything he says. Oh, I understand that. Are you missing school? Ready to get back here? Absolutely, we are too. So Jim, what are some tips for parents for safely video conferencing with their children? Well, Wendy, the best way for a parent to protect their child is to know who's on the other end of that internet connection for your child. Always watching what your child is doing. Thanks for tuning in to the Wendy and Jim's Music Minute. For more information, go to MyTwinTears.com.